What's up everyone, Gucci here. And finally we got the Horizon Zero Dawn inspired set in the single player for Ghost of Tsushima. This is timed perfectly as Horizon Forbidden West comes out next week. So this was just an awesome update to go along with the upcoming release. To get this we have to go to the top of Iki Island. Before this update it was just a destroyed shrine and really had nothing there. But now with the update it's renamed to the Forbidden Shrine and will look like this. Go ahead and read the scroll which says the old world is gone, the life is never ending, focus your spirit, take up the archer's mantle, and a seeker must aim for truth. And of course because this is the Horizon Zero Dawn skin, we'll go ahead and equip that Tariyori armor, and then focus our spirit using our focus hearing. Then we'll notice three orange targets on the statue. Next all we have to do is hit all the targets with your bow and arrow, all within a limited time frame, and we'll get the sign of the hunter headband and the new Seekers attire for the Tadayori armor. And that's pretty much how to get the new skin with this new update. As for Legends, we can also get this as a class item and body for the Ronin. For the class item, we can see that we can get the Sign of the Hunter headband and the Seekers attire body. With this patch also comes a new difficulty level for Survival. If we head to the Survival tab and select a difficulty, we now get a Platinum difficulty. Similar to Nightmare, we do get the gear reward of 110, which is really good, but it doesn't have any modifiers, making it just a little bit easier to complete. So this basically just gives us another option to get some gear at the max reward level. Sucker Punch also said that they added a block button to the social tab in the pause menu, just in case you want to prevent matchmaking with that player in the future. With that, that's everything you guys need to know about this patch. Sucker Punch also said that there'll be another patch next month, which will be focusing on Legends bug fixing and improvements, so look out for more changes in the future. As a side note, Sucker Punch has been releasing some job applications for art, design, production, and programming, which pretty much means that something big is happening there. Maybe Ghost of Tsushima 2? Only time will tell, but until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you next one, and GG.